Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Very exciting video today. I'm going to show you how to do really cool graphics with stain. So what we're going to be doing this on is the back of this spalted maple top guitar. This is a guitar that I got from a guitar kit that I got from solo music gear. If you haven't seen the series for this, check it out. It's pretty awesome uh, in progress, but yeah. We're going to do some graphics on the back. Now you're probably thinking, how are you going to do graphics in stain? Were you using like Q-tips? What's, what's the plan here, bud? I'm glad you asked. So what I've got here are essentially stain markers. They're touch-up markers from Bellin and they come in a variety of colors and they basically allow you to draw, but with stain, it's going to be, oh, I'm excited about this. If you want these, if you want to check them out in the description below, take a look at my Amazon influencer page. The link is there and these are in it along with some of my other favorite products. But what I'm going to do is draw out my graphic first with a pencil, make sure that it all makes sense. Cause obviously with a pencil, you can erase on wood and everything. And then we're going to come on the, come in with these guys and make it come to life. So a couple things to note on this. First of all, make sure your surface is nice and smooth. Can't be too smooth, otherwise the stain won't soak in properly. But for something where you're trying to get some detail, it's actually nice to have it a little bit smoother so that it doesn't soak in quite as easily and it's easier to pull finer lines and stuff. Second, I'm not very good at drawing. Um, some of you disagree with me on that, but, but let's be honest. There are people who are good at drawing. I am not one of them. Uh, I think we're going to do okay. What I'm going to do for this is I'm going to pull up a reference photo on my phone and just copy off that for, um, and obviously make it way bigger for like an open face rose. I'm going to do an opening. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I asked my fiance, what should I put on the back of this guitar? Said, oh, a flower. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, and I'm going to draw it in a pencil. We can see how it looks and then we'll get working on the markers. And as kind of a final note, when you go to use these things, make sure you test them on something that isn't your piece first. Check out what the colors actually look like. They do have a little ring around them that shows you what color they are, um, but it's not very accurate. So try them on a piece of wood, preferably of the type that you're actually doing this on before you go ahead and do it.
So honestly, how bad do you want those markers right now? Yeah, I mean, think of what you could do with that. Notwithstanding the fact that these are roses and I'm not very good at drawing them, you could do all sorts of stuff. There's a whole variety of colors, lots that go darker than this. You could do like a deep kind of black imagery thing with crazy trees and stuff. You could do pretty much whatever you want. Did you know you could do that with stain? Now you can. So as always guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you can check out the rest of what I do with this guitar kit as well as, you know, all the other weird stuff that I've been doing. And don't forget to check out the Amazon link in the description if you want to get your hands on some of these paint markers to be able to do stuff like this for yourself. So that's it. Thanks again and I will see you next time. Have a good one.